Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, Android Nougat 7.1.1, which is official. So Google has in the night rolled out the latest and the final 7.1.1. So prior to that, it was on the beta 2, uh, which was I already have shown you on the Nexus 6P and a lot of new features too. So in this update brings a, a to where this is a 5th December security patch level and the build number for the Nexus 6P that you will get is NMF26F and for the Pixel XL, I'm already just updating. This is a seamless update you can see you can simply click on the background and do a lot of stuff and it should work pretty much easy so i will have this looks very soon and i will show you guys a comparison speed test again with the both devices so stay tuned for that now we're talking about the things that you will get with this build here so there is not new whole bunch of features that you might be expecting that you will get uh, because mostly it is a uh, beta 2 android and 7.1.1 so i will request you guys to watch those two videos to get all the detailed feature in case you are on 7.0 or in case you're first time getting 7.1.1 update and then right nougat so a few things i will cover here so first of all uh what is what is new came here so the new first thing came if you just get inside the setting so it's similar to the google pixel support feature that you should get here uh, as you can see if you go inside this pixel you have this uh, support page feature available and guys this is working don't think it's not working i did have a couple of time conversation and since i flashed this uh, via the ote update so if you in case your device is rooted and you want to check out how to install the ote update so follow my video and it's pretty simple i updated with that no so this is the first feature that you can see here and also now uh, some of the applications now got the you, you know the quick touch you can say 3d touch functionality for the iphones if you say Twitter, if you just click here, you get this new message in tweets. And let's see, Instagram doesn't have this thing. Google Keep, so you got new set of things here. And also, you can take individual shortcuts for each setting. Say I just did here, and I want a new message shortcut. So click here, and you can see it's directly a bunch of new quick, you know, new message shortcut. If I just click here, it should directly take me to the new message thing, right? So it's kind of any new feature now along with that if you go inside this google keyboard uh, you get this new emojis click on this emojis section you can see these are the new human faces emojis actually their counterpart you have the both males and females the emojis symbol on your phone devices so and also if you just click here you get extra set of different colors and texture so actually that came in the dev preview two or three i guess but uh, google updated a lot so now if you are using google keyboard you can send the gif file you can see you got the option here zip if you just click here so you have the predefined emojis and also good thing is that if i just click here it should send us sms our uh, same feature is also there in the google hello so it won't work in all the things for example it worked in the hangout in this uh, google messenger in this hello so these kinds of things will work there if i just click here and go inside the emojis again so you can see got a a gif option so you can send it and i should get that here pretty much good time and if you just browse that you can easily have to send a new file you can send from here so it's pretty much gone so see i got this here on my pixel so both gifs came here and android nougat 7.1.1 also brings some cool things like you know just just shortcut so getting inside this uh, uh, you should have uh, this move so it's called as a move so these things are already same for example flip to camera lift to check phone so you just press power button twice so it should take you the camera since i have two cameras tall this is the google camera uh, pixel camera actually that's why it's named px2 and uh, you can see it's pretty much came hey guys so you can again turn back it should go back to the normal photos right and along with that if you just lift your phone to see whether it should work or not so i should get some notification why if i bring it so sometimes this feature need to have so it works and sometimes sometimes not all right so this is the thing now guys we'll talk about i have a lot of questions like which kind of feature you're going to get on the pixel because this also android 7.1.1 and this is also what are things you're not going to get at so i have written here all the things here so first thing google assistant you're not going to get that on this nexus 6p this is uh, still a uh, pixel exclusive if i just press here you can see i got this google assistant, I'm your google assistant. but not here I, can help you find what you need I need to activate it first still not activated and some extra gestures features which you're going to get in the pixel like swipe to gesture 
that feature is not there in this uh, Nexus 16, but you can have that. You should install an application called fingerprint scanning tools. You can have this feature like, you know, uh, swipe down and you can easily just press here to lock with your phone with a fingerprint sensor. You can see I'm just using my fingerprint sensor to lock and lock. So you can have this feature. So I'll put the video link, make sure to watch that out. And you got this extra support feature. Yes, this is both in Pixel and the uh, Nexus 6P. And the same camera application you will get in both the phones. So let me just give you guys a quick comparison. So that is the final camera. Uh, it is same in the both. You can see you got the same thing, auto HDR, grid lines, and some cloudy, skinny fluorescent. You can change here, flash thing. And everything is same, getting inside. Slow motion is also same, 720p. Everything is same. So you have, you have the same camera app in both the phones, in the Pixel and the Nexus 6P. Nexus 5X, whatever is stalled. And the Pixel uh, launcher is still exclusive to the Pixel phones only. I don't know why it is not coming to other phones. You can see Pixel launcher is exclusive to the Google Pixel, not to the Nexus 6P other phones. But you still, you can create with the Nova launcher set a file with a similar layout. You can create that and you can flash a zip file. Both things are working. And also guys, night mode is still not came to the Nexus 6P. I don't know why you can see this is night mode is still available here. You can just turn that on and it turns to yellow. And if you just turn that off, it's not there. But there are a lot of applications you can use that in case your phone is rooted. You can have this night mode. But most of the applications are still not compatible with 7.1. And I hope uh, the developer should work that things here. And one important feature that came to the 7.1.1 is uh, you can easily compress the storage. So you have to go to the built-in storage and the settings the storage. You'll see an option here, free up space. So it will show you it's a bunch of download and things that you have done. And since the photos now, Google has, uh, you know, two, 200 gigabytes of unlimited storage on the Pixel phones. But you can also get this feature here. As you can see here in this my Pixel, uh, if I just go and click on free up space, it shows the download folders that the files you have downloaded and not. But now you can also use a similar feature in the Unix 6P 5X with the running Android 7.1.1. Now guys, we'll talk about any performance improvement in the final version or not. So before I ran this uh, Geek Benchmark 4 uh, updating to this final one, I had a 7.1.1 deputy and the score was 1326 for single core and 369 for the multi-core. So single core is almost same and multi-core is also not too much different. But the things changes when I started running this uh, N2 benchmark. So when I ran the N2 benchmark before even updating that, so I had a score of a 92084 uh, which eventually lower down to by 10k amount 81777 so triple seven sorry so uh, i don't think so why such variations happens but anyway device is working pretty much smooth all things are all like you can see multitasking everything is working so fluently not an issue but uh, this is scores keeps on changing so not a big deal so that's it guys pretty much it for the android nougat 7.1 update for the nexus 6p to so make sure to check all videos and regarding battery and all the performance i'm just checking that out so Hopefully I should come very soon. So let's see the screen on time. And when I was on the beta 2, 7.1.1, I used to get near to three and a half hours to four hours of screen on time. I should get that very soon because uh, it should bring a lot of battery improvement too. And I do work mostly, play a lot of games and YouTube videos. So that's why screen on time is a bit less. But anyway, it is improved. So stay tuned guys. I will let you guys know the two to three days feedback. How does it work and all. And for the Pixel and Nexus 6 speed, speed test comparison, stay tuned. I'm just going to work that very soon. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. This is Sarab. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.